Okay, I'm gonna make a really quick guide on how to undervolt and underclock your GPU. And I'm gonna demonstrate this with mining because I can get everything up on the same screen at once. For gaming, I have to flick back between the game and that's a bit annoying. Uh, but essentially it will be the same for gaming. So for mining, I'm using nice hash. And uh, for overclocking, I'm using MSI Afterburner. And for the sensors, I'm using HW Info 64 because it displays my GPU memory junction temperature. Now this is only G6X and doesn't do it for G6, but I believe, uh, and I've just downloaded this, so I can't check, uh, but I believe GPU Z displays the G6 memory temperature or even G5. Um, so maybe someone can uh, check that out for me. Now let's go to MSI Afterburner and go to the Frequency Curve Editor. Now essentially with the voltage frequency curve, what you're trying to do is you're going to be testing it at the different voltages. So uh, maybe you want to step down say 50 millivolts every single time, test it and see if it holds that frequency. And if it does, then you can continue on to the next one, see if that holds the frequency. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to drop that frequency, which means less performance but so on and so on until you're happy with your voltage and your frequency. Now to do this, it's really simple. So what I would do first with this default frequency curve, I would drag the end down. So you do that, you press control, click on that, and then you bring that down and say um, your default settings, you had 1000 millivolts, for example, uh, and that was um, operating at about 1950 megahertz. So Maybe you want to test it at 950 at that same at that same frequency. Now you can drag that up and then you close this and you apply the settings. And when you come back into the frequency curve, uh, you'll get a new frequency curve. And so it's going to be trying to hit 950 millivolts for 1,900 megahertz. And if it does that, then you can go on and test it for 900 and so on and so forth. Now for mining, I've tested all of the different voltages and I wanted to also underclock the card as well. And to do that, you can drag this uh, with Alt up and down like this. And eventually I found that at 725 millivolts, I could be doing a thousand uh, for the frequency and that wouldn't adjust my hash rate too much. I think I lost about 10% for the hash rate. And to do that, you can drag this down. And get something like this. Now we also have other settings here. So we have a power limit here, and this is the power limit to the TDP. I'm pretty sure it is. So uh, if you have this undervolt already, this could already be doing um, a lot lower in terms of the power usage. So if I adjust this down to say like 90%, that would make it about 315 watts. Well, if I'm undervolting down to 725 millivolts, that's probably gonna be lower and that's not going to actually look like it's gonna do anything. So your power limit has to go under your millivolt for anything to actually happen. So in this case, because I've already tested it out, uh, I only found that after about 80%, so if I had 78%, then that would actually affect the amount of power that I used. I hope that makes sense. Now this is linked to the temperature limit, so I usually just keep that on. I don't want to adjust both the temp limit and the power limit. The core clock is essentially your frequency right here. So if you lower this core clock, then you're effectively lowering it on this axis. And right now it's got it on curve because I've already adjusted the curve. Now the memory clock is self-explanatory and if you want to lower the temps, then you can just lower this memory clock. It will affect the performance of course. So it's really up to you how much, but I lowered it all the way down. Now the fan speed is the thing that affected the temperatures the most and you can go into that by hitting the settings and right now it's on automatic fan control properties so you can just hit that tick and then you can adjust this fan curve yourself. So normally I would have it like this in gaming 
And if you have this type of curve, the fan is not really that noticeable and it's pretty much not noticeable if you have headphones on. But um, I think anything above 80%, uh, other people will be able to hear it. So they may start to be uncomfortable with how loud it is. Now make sure to check out my next video, which is where I undervolt and underclock my GPU. And I'll share with you all of my results in mining and in gaming. And I'll leave a link in the description below for that video. Okay, that's gonna be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button. Also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.